In this video, I will walk you through the 5 Havo English exam from 2022. I will try to explain where you could have found the correct answers and why the other answers are not correct. I understand that you might only want to know this for the questions that you got wrong, so I've added chapters to this video based on the question number. Just scroll through the chapters in the play bar or press the timestamp for the desired questions in the description. Question 1. This question is about a quote from the first paragraph which reads, Most people are also on the show for overnight fame and 250,000 new followers. You had to find the sentence that refers to this sentence and then write down the first two words of that sentence. The correct answer was some might, which can be found in the second last sentence of the third paragraph. This full sentence reads, Some might say it's the best way to get more exposure. The overnight fame and gaining followers from the sentence from the first paragraph is the same as getting more exposure. Both sentences signal that people joined the show to reach a large audience and for the fame. Question 2. The correct answer to this question is C. A is incorrect because there is no mention of accelerated process in the text. B is also incorrect. They do want to become a player in the market. The text states that they are one of the companies trying to automate the process. However, it says nothing about gaining a monopoly. D is incorrect because there is no mention of a delicate machinery. There are two sentences in the first paragraph that support C. These sentences are, but despite its repeated claims that its farming is autonomous, humans are still needed for a lot of the work, and Labourers plant seedlings and package plants when they're ready to eat. Robots just tend them while they're growing. In the first sentence you'll find the word despite, which signals a contradiction. This shows that the farming is not autonomous at all. Both of these sentences show that the process is a joint effort of humans and robots. Question 3. For this question you should have answered B. A is incorrect because the paragraph is not about individuals. C is not correct because there is nothing about exotic vegetables, nor them being out of season. D is incorrect as well. Even though the paragraph states that it is better for the environment, it's not because of zero waste, but because of fewer food miles. In the text there are two phrases that indicate that B is the correct answer. Travel just 0.6 miles to get there, and fewer food miles. Both of these signal distance thus location. That is why the answer, can be located nearer to customers, is the correct one. Question 4. There are three different disadvantages that are mentioned. There are only a few varieties. They only deliver once a week, and they are expensive. Note that each of these disadvantages is introduced with a signaling word, just, just, and but. So the correct answer to this question is three. Question 5. In order to answer this question, you have to have some knowledge of the English expression to bear fruit. This means half positive results, which is hopeful in tone. Therefore, the correct answer is C. Also, hopeful is the only real positive word you could choose from, which suits the positive tone of the final sentence. Question 6. For this question, you have to indicate whether these statements can be found in the text or not. The first statement should be answered with neat. The text does indicate that his nickname was the Tramp and that he was homeless sometime in the 1950s. This might have triggered you to answer well. However, the text states that he came dangerously close to his nickname. This indicates that he already had the nickname before becoming homeless and therefore didn't get the nickname because he became homeless. The second statement should be answered with neat. The text doesn't compare the two different types of film. The third statement should be answered with well. There are multiple indicators for this in the text. The final sentence of the first paragraph, for example, states that he was a humanist. Then the first sentence of the second paragraph, which shows that he wrote scripts to defend the poor and exploited. And last but not least, in the third paragraph, he stated that he tackled subjects like immigration, the Wall Street crash, Hitler's fascism, the Cold War, which at the time were also social topics. The final statement should be answered with neat. In paragraph 5, we read that he was monitored, but there is nothing about there being a warrant out for him. 
Question 7. For this question, you have to fill the gap in paragraph 4, which is just one sentence. This sentence starts with the word while, which signals a contradiction. The first part of the sentence describes a look into what Chaplin did professionally, and the opposite of his professional life would be his personal or private life. Therefore, answer A is the correct answer. B is incorrect because his public image is public and thus not rare. C is incorrect because suspicions of what? That would have needed further explaining, which isn't in the text. D is incorrect because he wasn't incarcerated. This links back to number four of the previous question. Question eight. For this question, you have to indicate whether these statements can be found in the text or not. The first statement should be answered with vel. This can be seen from the last sentence of the first paragraph, which reads, but no matter what it is, you can bet it'll skyrocket on the secondary market. Items on a secondary market are items which people try to resell. Note that this sentence starts with a signaling word, but. The second statement should be answered with neat. There is nothing in this text about the quality of the product. The third statement should be answered with bell. This can be seen in the final sentence of the third paragraph, which reads, I have to bite my shin on my coffee table just enough to draw a trickle of blood, then commit to wearing shorts in NYC in early March. The part that the writer has to commit to wearing shorts indicates that he adapts his choice of clothing to show off the band-aids. The fourth statement should be answered with neat. The text doesn't say that some people will do dangerous things. He only writes that about himself. Question 9. Looking at the answers, you see that B and D have more or less the same meaning, getting injured. Therefore, you could know that these cannot be the answer to the question. This leaves you with A and C to choose from. The writer continuously states that he needs to inflict an injury on himself just to show off that he has the supreme band-aid. This clearly contradicts authenticity, wanting to wear the band-aid just because of its brand and not using them for what they are truly meant for. Therefore, the correct answer is C. Question 10. The correct answer is D, as the sacrifice is wounding yourself to show off the band-aids. This is in line with number 3 in question 8 and explained in paragraph 3, 4 and 5. Answer A is incorrect because the text is about the popularity of the brand, so it would not be a sacrifice to admit to liking these band-aids. Answer B is incorrect because the price is unknown. You don't know yet whether you'll have to pay a lot of money, so that can't be the sacrifice based on the text. Answer C is incorrect because the paragraph states that they will be released soon. Answer E is incorrect because the text isn't about writing about the brand. Question 11. When sitting your exams, please don't answer a question like this straight away. It requires you to read more of the text, possibly even the entire text, which might cause you to answer other questions incorrect. In paragraph 4 you find a sentence that indicates vegan beauty products are not healthy by default. This sentence reads, It conjures up images of virtuous greens and in turn healthiness, which is not necessarily the case. The last bit, which is not necessarily the case, refers to the healthiness meaning that vegan beauty products are not necessarily healthy products. So the correct answer is 4. Question 12. The correct answer is A, in other words, as the sentence repeats the same information but, obviously, in other words. Answer B is incorrect because likewise signals a comparison, which isn't made here. And answer C is incorrect because nevertheless indicates a contradiction, which isn't the case here either. Question 13. Note that answer A is negative in tone, B is neutral in tone, and the other answers are positive in tone. Also notice that A and D are opposites. There should have been an indication that it is probably one of those two answers. The sentence with the gap starts with, they are harmless, which is positive in tone. It is followed by a signaling word, but, which indicates that the rest of the sentence is negative in tone as it signals a contradiction. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Question 14. 
While answering this question, you could also answer question 11. The correct answer is misleading, which can be seen in the same sentence used to support question 11. It conjures up images of virtuous greens and, in turn, healthiness, which is not necessarily the case. Even though it might seem healthy, it does not have to be, and therefore it is misleading. Question 15. This question has the word afgedwongen in bold text, which is similar to the word demand. This word can be found in the last sentence of paragraph 5, where it says that there is a consumer demand for cruelty-free products. Therefore, the consumers are the ones to force, according to the text. The answer is de consumente. Question 16. All the other questions deal with vegan cruelty-free products. The sentence from paragraph 7 that is in line with this main thought of the text is the sentence that starts with the future. The full sentence reads, the future of the beauty industry is vegan and not animal tested. Therefore, vegan and cruelty free. Question 17. If you read more than just the first paragraph for this question, you might have given the wrong answer. Option B and option D can be found in the text, but in paragraph 2 and not in paragraph 1. Just from reading the first part of the options, you could deduct the answer C is correct. Reading the paragraph, you see that it isn't an analysis, doesn't applaud, does uh, give an example, Spider-Man, and doesn't glorify, and doesn't highlight. Answer C is therefore the correct answer. To clarify further, A is incorrect because the paragraph isn't about Stan Lee's success. B is incorrect because the paragraph isn't about the timeless quality. D is incorrect because it isn't about glorifying the originality. And E is incorrect because it's not about special effects. Question 18. The correct answer is A, which can be seen halfway through paragraph 2, where it reads, Lee's decades as Marvel's top writer and editor helped to revolutionize comic book superheroes and villains. Especially the part helped to revolutionize supports answer A, contributing to the development. B is incorrect because there is no mention of fellow comic book writers. C is incorrect because there is no mention of unexpected twists. And D is incorrect because there is nothing about adult readers in the text. Question 19. Reading through the answers, you can see that A and C are opposites. It's most likely one of these. Note that A is positive and C is negative. Seeing as the text is positive, A is the answer that fits best. This answer is in line with the sentence that reads, Most people had a superhero that looked like them and struggled with the same challenges. This sentence makes clear that people see a hero that encounter the same things as they do, thus indirectly process their own struggles. Besides that, the part of the text is about challenges, not fantasies. Therefore, B is incorrect. It's not about people's limitations either, which makes C incorrect. And choices aren't part of the paragraph either, so D is also incorrect. Question 20. Looking at the options to choose from, A is positive, B and C are negative, D is positive, and E is neutral in tone. You can cross off B and C because the tone of the paragraph is positive, whereas these answers are negative. This also excludes E. Judging from the text which reads as a humorous, answer A would be too serious to fit the tone. Therefore, D is the correct answer. Question 21. Looking at the sentence in which you have to fill the gap, you see that it starts with the signaling word but. This indicates a contradiction with the previous paragraph. In the previous paragraph, Lee stated that he wasn't good at science, so the word that has to be used should indicate that he might be better than he thinks. The only word that would then suit this is answer B. Question 22. For this question, you had to return to paragraph 3 and also read paragraph 6. Then you had to find the correct sentence for the correct person. Reading paragraph 3, you can see that the answer for Pragashul is C. This can be seen in the same sentence as used for question 19. Most people had a superhero that looked like them and struggled with the same challenge. The people that look like you and have the same struggles like you have are people you can identify with. Reading paragraph 6, you can see that the answer for Neil Gaiman is A. 
The support for this answer can be found in this sentence with the colon, where it reads that an era comes to an end. An era equals a period in history. Question 23. The correct answer to this question is A, by making clear that it has been in use for a long time now. This answer can be supported using the final sentence of the first paragraph, which reads, It is a fair bet that the use of animal skins for shelter and clothing goes back hundreds of thousands of years at least. Hundreds of thousands of years is a long time. Besides that, B is incorrect because the paragraph doesn't praise the durability. C is incorrect because the paragraph doesn't question anything, least of all early settlements. And D is incorrect because the paragraph doesn't stress anything and nothing is said about the process of making it. Question 24. Looking at the words, you notice that there are three options that have a positive tone. A, C and D. You also see that nasty business, answer B, is negative in tone. This already indicates that B is the correct answer. The first sentence links back to paragraph 1. Paragraph 1 is positive in tone about leather. The sentence with the gap has a signalling word in it. This word is though, which signals a contradiction. This means that the sentence with the gap requires a negative tone to contradict the positive tone of paragraph 1. Therefore, B is the correct answer. Question 25. The correct answer to this question is C. This can be supported with the last sentence of paragraph 3, which reads, Set against these considerations is a commercial one. Leather, priced for its durability and suppleness, is a business worth $100 billion a year. The first bit, set against these considerations, signals the controversial part. These considerations are explained earlier in the paragraph. The second part of the sentence shows that it's lucrative. There is a lot of money to be made. A is incorrect because the text doesn't say it is high-tech and expensive. B is incorrect because the text doesn't say that it's labor-intensive. And D is incorrect because the text doesn't say it's primitive. Question 26. The correct answer is A, which can be supported with the second-to-last sentence of the paragraph, which reads, The difference is that instead of coming from an animal's back, this leather is grown by the meter in factories instead signals a contradiction. So the leather mentioned in this sentence does not come from an animal and therefore is artificial. B is incorrect because the paragraph doesn't state that natural leather is going to be replaced. C is incorrect because there is nothing about tech firms in the paragraph. And D is incorrect because the paragraph doesn't say anything about reducing animal suffering. Question 27. In paragraphs 5 and 6, you will find answer A, B, and D. So the answer you should have chosen is C. Paragraph 5 states that it's more consistent, which is in line with answer D. Paragraph 5 states that all these facts reduce waste and improve quality, which is in line with answer B. Paragraph 6 states, One other advantage of modern meadows manufacturing process is that it permits different parts of a sheet to be given different properties, which is in line with answer A. Question 28. The correct answer is C, which you can conclude from the first sentence of paragraph 7, which reads, Modern meadow is not actually out to ape leather. The firm's aim is to produce a new material in its own right. That they don't want to ape, which means imitate, ties in with answer C, not comparing the different types of leather. A is incorrect because nothing is said about the quality not being optimal yet. B is incorrect because the text doesn't say that you can't tell the difference between artificial and natural leather. And D is incorrect because there's nothing about animal friendliness in this paragraph. Question 29. Looking at the answers, you can see that A, B, and C are negative. You could cross these off straight away as the tone of the text is positive. Thus, a positive word is needed. That the paragraph is positive can be seen in the final sentence, which reads, Biotechnology will thus strut its stuff on the catwalk, and leather, whatever title it goes by, will take its first halting steps away from the abattoir. Options D and E are positive, where D is less strong in tone than E. In choosing, when in doubt, choose the less strong option. In this case, that is also the correct one. Answer D. Question 30. The first sentence mentions the goal. 
doing the morning roll call, of which then examples are given. Check presence, check whether the children have left early, check behavior, etc. These are purposes, meaning that the answer C is correct. The paragraph doesn't say anything about the development, relevance or usefulness. Therefore, answer A, B and D are incorrect. Question 31. Answer C is the correct answer. The first sentence of the paragraph describes that children have less sense of liberty. This is then further explained in the paragraph, where Wouters ends with saying that they run a risk of forever being judged for pulling weirdo faces. This is an example of risks children run when they cannot experiment freely. Again note the use of a signaling word, in this case but, in the final sentence. A is incorrect. Though there are is a mention of social media, it isn't about being critical. B is incorrect. The paragraph doesn't say anything about deleting images. And D is incorrect, because the paragraph doesn't say anything about getting used to being filmed. Question 32. The potential problem is that the information, referred to with the word data in the first sentence of paragraph 3, can be used for commercial gain. This becomes clear from the phrase, there is the question of who will own the data. If the data is in hands of a third party, they can use it in the way they want. Therefore, D is the correct answer. A is incorrect because the text doesn't speak about vulnerable youngsters. B is incorrect because there's nothing about the government in this paragraph. And C is incorrect because the paragraph doesn't say anything about faulty conclusions. Question 33. Because A and B are opposites, you might think that one of these is the answer. In this instance, that isn't the case. This shows that you always have to double check. You have to know the function of these words to see if they fit the gap. After signals a reason or cause. Consequently, signals a consequence or conclusion. Likewise, signals a comparison. What's more signals an enumeration or that more information is given. In this case, paragraph 4 adds to what is said in paragraph 3, so answer D What's more is the correct answer. Question 34. Even though the quote is from paragraph 5, you should use a different part of the text to answer this question. The correct answer is but a uh, from paragraph 2. The unfavorable consequences are forever being judged and the behavior is pulling widow faces. Question 35. The correct answer is a, which can be found in the final sentence of the paragraph. Note that this sentence contains a colon, and answers are often found in sentences with colons. Especially the last part of this sentence is an indicator for answer A, which states that this technology may be enough for them to refuse to go to school at all. Not going to school is the same as a decline in attendance. B is incorrect because the paragraph doesn't say that it should be used. C is incorrect because the paragraph doesn't say that it encourages bad behavior. Question 36. The correct answer to this question is B, which becomes clear from the last sentence of the letter. The word taxpayers is linked to public money and teaches the students links to the fact that it harms the prospects of a younger generation. A is incorrect because there's nothing about teacher training colleges. C is incorrect because it doesn't state that it will have expensive consequences. D is incorrect because it doesn't say that there is a lack of money. Question 37. The use of apostrophes in success shows that the writer doesn't really think it's a success. It has a mocking tone, which would only suit option C, sarcastic. Question 38. Both statements require the answer neat. The first one because the texts don't say anything about fraud. The second one because the texts don't say anything about companies having trouble finding personnel who speak French. The problem described is about education. Question 39. The two words that you should have quoted are it claims. The sentence from paragraph 2 reads, it claims the work rate is up 20%. A higher work rate equals an improvement in productivity. Question 40. The first gap requires B, a reduction. The paragraph lists positive points and the word also indicates the same should go for the gap that needs to be filled. The second gap should be C, a study. This can be seen in the words has published, as you publish studies, and trial, 
which is part of a study. The third gap should be filled with D, the bottom. With five days of work, you don't have time, so these projects move to the bottom of your list. The word relegated is another one of those indicators. The fourth gap should be filled with F, the model. The five-day work week is used all over the world, so it's a model, a template. The fifth gap should be filled with A, no-brainer. With everything said in the text, one should not have to think about changing the work weeks, making it a no-brainer. Question 41. Knowledge is power. Answer B is the correct answer. This can be concluded from the part after the colon, which reads, A prince who will not undergo the difficulty of understanding must undergo the danger of trusting. Understanding equals knowledge. If you don't understand, there's the danger of having to trust, meaning loss of power. Therefore, knowledge is power is the correct answer. Question 42. The two words you should have quoted are soon I, which can be found in paragraph 3. The sentence before that states that the writer posted on Facebook seeking an angry friend to come along. This indicates Wude. The sentence that follows reads, Soon I was bombarded by responses. The writer received a lot of responses of like-minded people, which can be seen in the word bombarded. Question 43. The correct answer is paragraph 9. In the first sentence you see a colon which is followed with an introduction to the topic of buying items. The paragraph then continues describing all the different ways the items are required. If your school made eindexamerside.nl available to you, be sure to fill out your answers to this exam there as well. You will then see an indication of what types of questions you have difficulty with. This gives you the opportunity to specifically train your problem areas. Good luck! Music